It's two years this week since a devastating earthquake killed 300,000 people in Haiti. The country is one of the poorest in the world and as it struggles to recover, more than half a million people are still living in makeshift camps. Two years on for many of Haiti's poor, little has changed. Thousands still live in hillside shanties. This man is actually one of the lucky ones. His family now have a shelter built by the Red Cross. But poverty remains an issue and there seems to be little prospect of finding work. He explains nothing has changed. He has moved, but he sees no difference. His is not an isolated case. The pace of reconstruction in Haiti has been painfully slow. Political infighting has played a part. Many projects stalled when nobody could figure out exactly who owned the land. However, the government insists there has been progress. What we're working on also is with the private sector, you know, trying to incentivate them to also build low-cost housing for our people that are living in, in abject poverty. Of course, Haiti's children continue to suffer. Today sees the start of a new initiative that will see Irish children learn about the lives of their counterparts in Haiti. The Child of Haiti charity launched in Limerick this morning plans to link schools there with pupils in Ireland. Ray Colgan, RTE News.